Hi there. I'm Christopher. I'm the founder of Care Chooser. And I'm also a volunteer for the Alzheimer's Society. I'm a dementia friend and I'm a dementia friends champion. This is the third in our home care guide series. So previous editions have been about dementia and about multiple sclerosis. So if you'd like to ha have a look at those uh, previous editions, then they are available at carechooser.com. If you just go to the home care guide at the top, on the top menu, then you'll see those posts in written form and also video form. So this is the third in the series, as I said, and it is about diabetes. So I'm going to give a brief overview of diabetes, and then we're going to talk about the symptoms, and then briefly about the care involved for diabetes. So an outline. What is diabetes? Well, diabetes causes blood sugar level to become high. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is where the immune system attacks the cells in the body that produce insulin. And type 2 diabetes, this is the most common type in the UK, is when the amount of insulin produced is not enough or when the body stops reacting to the insulin. And what, what is insulin? Well, insulin is a hormone and it's produced in the pancreas and it is responsible for regulating the blood glucose levels. There's also a precondition um, and that is called pre-diabetes. This is when people have high blood sugar levels and they're higher than the normal, but they're not quite at the level of diabetes. So what are the symptoms of diabetes? Well, when your blood glucose levels rise, this can cause you to pass more urine and it can also cause you to be more thirsty and more dehydrated. This also causes other illnesses or infections to be worse. Another symptom of diabetes is uh, hypo, which is known as hypoglycemia. This occurs when blood glucose levels are less than four millimoles per liter. Often old people may be at risk, increased risk of a hypo. The symptoms that a hypo is about to happen that a carer or family member should look out for include reduced concentrations, reduced concentrations, right? changes in personality or mood, headaches in the morning or disturbed sleep. Hypos can then cause confusion, poor appetite, heart attack or stroke. They can cause cognitive damage, loss of consciousness. They can cause falls, aggressive behavior and difficulties with speech. Most of the following symptoms tend to affect the elderly. Eye conditions such as glaucoma, cataract and macular degeneration. Reduced eyesight also and reduced mobility. And then as a result of these problems, um, there are often problems with the feet. So how do we care for someone with diabetes? Well, hypo should be treated immediately with cool, non-milky, sugary drinks or with glucose tablets and then followed up by a snack or a meal. If the person is unconscious, then an ambulance needed to be called. Other ways in which you can care and uh, monitor diabetes are blood sugar levels themselves should be monitored and medication should be taken as in accordance to medical advice. Diabetes and pre-diabetes can be managed quite effectively by having a good diet, reducing weight and doing regular exercise. Diabetes can also be controlled by stopping smoking, reducing alcohol consumption and through medication. And also regular reviews of medical professionals can really help with diabetes. Diabetes um, can Diabetes, as a result of the many symptoms of diabetes, uh, can make self-care tasks difficult, and people with diabetes may need additional help. So that was the end of our very brief um, introduction to diabetes. If you'd like to see a written form of it, then that's on our website at carechooser.com. Just hit Home Care Guide on the top menu. So go to that and you can also see um, the introductions to diabetes and to, sorry, dementia and multiple sclerosis. Um, do get in touch if you need a carer. We do have carers available at the moment. They're, they are in high demand. So get in touch and we'll see if you're a good match for one of our carers. We do do home care 
and night care and also live-in care, which, uh, which provides 24 hours care. Um, thank you, and I'll be in touch again shortly.